Hey guys, Aragon Angie with Aragon Web and Aragon Web TV. I am out here today with my Air Venturi compressor and I'm pretty sure it's been just about a year since I got it. Um, pretty close if not. So it is time for another oil change, but not only an oil change, there's some other things that I'm going to be doing to it. But I'm going to separate this into a couple different parts because I know when I go to look for videos on YouTube on how to do things, sometimes I just want to know how to change the oil or how to change the filter and you have to sift through the video to find out exactly what you're looking for. So I'm going to separate this video into two parts. The first part, I'm going to change the oil. Before I change the oil guys, I want to make sure I tell my sponsors thank you. My sponsors are Airgun Pro Shop. Thank you so much for sending me the products so I can check them out. If you guys are looking for any Airgun products, whether it be air guns, compressors, tanks, ammo, Airgun Pro Shop has a plethora of air gun fun. So go check them out at www.airgunproshop.com. So guys, this is my Air Venturi personal compressor and it has definitely paid off. I got it from Airgun Pro Shop and I used to have to take my tanks up. It's about an hour there and an hour back to where I had to go get it filled, plus pay a $15 fee. With the cost of gas and the, the fill fee, and pretty much this is paying for itself and I have air available whenever I want it. So I don't have to wait and say, oh man, I'm low on air, I can't shoot today. I can shoot any day that I want to. It's pretty freaking awesome. But there are some things that I need to do to keep up with my compressor. There's some maintenance. And the first thing that I'm gonna go through with you is the oil change, how to change the oil. There is a window right here, and that shows you whether the oil's full or whether it is low. So definitely make sure you check that before you use it every time. So the first thing you're going to do guys is you're going to take off the outer casing of the compressor and all you need for that is a Phillips head screwdriver. After that you're going to need an Allen wrench to loosen the drain. But be sure that you have something underneath the drain hole to catch the oil and be sure it's big enough to hold all of it. Um, next thing you're going to do after you've got the container to hold the oil in and you've loosened the drain hole, you're going to loosen this piece right here. Otherwise, you're going to be there for a while waiting for the oil to drain out. This lets air into the oil reservoir to push the oil out. So, Draining the oil takes maybe three to five minutes. It doesn't take that long. Sometimes it seems longer because you're watching it, but in, to make it go faster, what I did is I tilted my compressor to the side to pull it all to the drain hole. Once every bit of the oil is out, replace the drain screw back in the drain hole and you don't want to tighten it too much. It does have a little O-ring on it that you don't want to damage. So tighten it, but not too much. Seal the container that your old oil is in so it doesn't spill. After that, you're gonna get your Air Venturi compressor oil. That's what I have. Um, you can use a different kind, but this is actually specially made for compressors. So for the life of your compressor, guys, you want to do what's best for it. So this is Air Venturi. It is used for Air Venturi 4500 PSI compressors. It helps reduce oxidation and rust deposit. It is specially formulated to reduce wear and extend compressor life. We all want that. And it is an ISO 100, so definitely some good oil here. That is what I used in this. So what you're gonna, you don't even need a funnel because it has a little spout on it that pours in there perfectly. So 
You want to fill it up until it is above the fill line. And that is going to take a few minutes because it is a tiny hole, but it is actually very convenient not to have to find a funnel and hold the funnel while you pour the bottle. So it is very convenient. It takes a little bit of time, but I believe it's worth it. Um, after you've filled it with oil, wipe around the top of the fill hole with a rag or a paper towel and screw the black plastic thing back on and tighten it up as much as you can. That's pretty much it guys. Got some maintenance done on the Air Venturi personal compressor. The oil has changed. Now it's time to either fill some tanks or some guns. I'm Airgun Angie with Airgun Web and Airgun Web TV. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all don't just have a good day, have an awesome one. See ya. Well, there you go, guys. As you can see, it shot beautifully. So guys, I've shot it, and then I've shot it again, and then I've shot it again, and then I've shot it again. That was awesome. Love it. Ooh. <laughs> that was cool.